If I could just quit making mistakes, that would be great. So, do you ever have those moments in your life that you just feel like a day, a week, a month, where you just feel like you're just making mistakes over and over again? Well, that's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. So, I sold an item yesterday and I'm a little frustrated with myself. I I know I think I know what happened. So anyway, this item I went to ship it this morning and I realized it was a little bit of an oversized item. It was um a, a retired American girl doll sled. Mm -hmm. And apparently when I went to ship it, I didn't know until I went to ship the item, the customer only paid flat rate envelope. I don't know how that, well, I do know how that happened, I think, but I did the right thing and I went ahead and shipped it out. I don't think I lost money on the item, but I did not profit on the item like I should have. It cost me $35 to ship out this item and the customer paid a little under $8 for the shipping. So I lost big time on shipping. Lesson learned. What are you going to do? I'm not going to cancel the order. It was my screw up. But I feel like I'm in that season where I'm just making these little dumb mistakes and it's just driving me insane right now. Um, it's just another oh crap moment, you know. It's just, it's very frustrating. I'm trying not to laugh when I say that now. Every time I say that, I think of uh, Robin's videos. So, um, anyway, today's video, I think I'm going to talk about the things that I sold last week on eBay. I bought another auction lot on Sunday that I picked up, so I'll try to get another video out this weekend on what that auction lot, those lots were. Um, I'm just a little, just kind of feeling a little funky and you know I feel like um I've lost so much time I wish that I would have continued to put out videos over the years so that I would not feel like I'm starting all over but I'm really feeling like I'm starting over and I'm you know I've just been kind of going back and forth like was it the right thing to transform my channel into a reselling channel with subscribers that don't even watch me anymore. Um, it's really hard because, you know, I have, you look at my channel and you think, well, she's doing well, but this channel has been around since 2011. So I have 1,521 subscribers I think as of today and looking at my analytics it's it's just frustrating usually every time I put out a video I lose subscribers which is probably a lot of my old subscribers that subscribe to me for dieting reasons and are not interested in reselling or interested in me and um, mm. so it's hard I, you know, tried to go back and forth trying to figure out, should I start a new channel? Should I not start a new channel? I've heard people say, you know, you have the subscribers. The hard part is getting to over a thousand subs, but, um, I'm struggling, you know, I'm frustrated with myself that I haven't put out videos all this time. It used to be when, um, when you were monetized, I don't think that you used to have, have to, uh, have so many hours of viewing time to be monetized because I used to be monetized and I know I didn't have 4,000 hours. Um, when I first started putting out videos nine years ago, I was vlogging my weight loss journey 
almost daily until I met my goals and then it slowed down. I had a three year lapse in videos at one point, came back, tried to restart my weight loss journey again, which goes up and down, up and down. And um, I made some more videos during that time and then I went on a another three year hiatus um, again. So it's been three years since I have videoed up until January. And so I'm, a, I'm just struggling a little bit. I look at my analytics and people that subbed to me a long time ago. I'm, sub, I'm really surprised that I haven't lost more subs than I have. I appreciate those of you who have supported me the last nine years that you're still around watching my channel. I do appreciate you guys. Um, I made some good friends and that's why I really love the YouTube community when you connect with people on a personal level and you can share your stories and especially similar things that you're going through. So my struggle right now, now that I have switched my channel to reselling is getting viewing time and, you know, mm. working outside the home, I'm tired. There's resellers that I want to watch on YouTube and I now I have to figure out how to get my views up. Um, as of the other day, I had 131 hours in the past year. So, I mean, I've only really been back active on YouTube since January. And I think this is my 13th video this year. So um, I'm doing what I can. I don't have the time and the energy right now to put out a video every day. I don't know if I should go live. I haven't done lives ever. Um, but since I changed my channel into reselling, I, I'm i more than willing to do what I need to do to grow my channel because ultimately this is going to be part of the big picture of my future. So I'm, I'm just, I'm just feeling kind of in a funk right now, just trying to figure out how to reel more people in. And then when I look at my analytics, people watch about three to four minutes of me and I'm like, wow, I'm just really that boring. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Now, some of those are probably old viewers. I think my last couple of videos, the uh, watch time is a little bit higher than three minutes. Um, but it's really hard when if I put out a 20 minute video and someone's watching three to four minutes of me, you know, that's it's just depressing. So I don't know if you guys have any thoughts. Um, I always I'm always open to advice. So. But that's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out what I need to do to grow my channel. And, you know, I don't know how to make it unique either. I mean, there's a lot of reselling channels that talk about what I bought, what sold on eBay, blah, 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 blah. And I have not found my niche yet. I'm just going to go with what I know and keep talking. And hopefully more people was, will subscribe to me. Hopefully more people will watch me and maybe I can uh, figure out how to grab more than three minutes of a person's time. So it's like a catch 22. I used to make short videos when I did um, my dieting videos because I knew that people were not watching um, very long, like, you know, trying, you know, so I, I tried to keep my videos short, but now that my goals have changed with, um, trying to make YouTube part of my future of um, growing myself, mm. growing my business, that I want to make longer videos, but I, I have to figure out how am I going to grab people's attention. I don't know. I guess I could just go crap, crap, crap all the time. I don't know. But that'll grab like two of my favorite people's attention and that's about it. So um, anyway, I am not going to bore you with my depressing feelings any longer. So um, I'm going to go over what I sold on eBay last week. 
I'm still trying to grow my store. I have a little bit over 400 items listed right now. I'm probably selling on the average one item a day still. But a lot of the items that I'm buying are now um, that I've kind of bought more from auction locks. Locks. I cannot talk. It's just really sad. But I buy more items nowadays from auction, online auction lots that um, some of those are going to be um, sitting there for a while. But I'm okay with that if, if, if that's what's going to make me some money. I just need to keep on pumping it out. So let's see. Last week I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items Friday to Friday. Not the greatest, but that's okay. I'm going to continue to work on stuff. So this first item here is a pair of Vans mid-top shoes. I think they were size 13. I bought them at my local thrift store when they had buy one, get one free on their shoes. I paid $271 after taxes for these shoes. Sold them for a total of $61.55. That was $49 for the shoes, $12.55 shipping. And I made a total profit on these shoes, almost $42. Very happy. These shoes were in pretty good condition. I cleaned them up. They sold within one day. So very happy with that. This next item here, White House Black Market. It was a pink sleeveless top. Bought it at Salvation Army um, a year ago. It looks like I listed it February of last year. Took almost a year to sell. Bought it for three bucks um, and it sold, I can't remember if I took a best offer on it. You'll be able to tell from the pictures because these pictures were my original listing, but I um, sold it for $9 plus $4.90 shipping and I made a total of $4.78 off this top. Not too bad. Just took a year to make five bucks. Mm. Um, this next item here is a White House black market top. It had a gathered waist, size medium, I believe. And I bought it at another thrift store for about $1.50. It, I didn't have listed how long that it took me to list it. I think it was one of these items that I bought and then I finally listed some clothing items. So I, I don't have the date on when I actually listed it. But it sold for a total of $14.15. That was $9.50 plus $4.65 shipping. And I made a total of $7.26 off this top. This next item here is um, was a Where the Eagles Are. Um, no, I'm not saying that right. Where the Eagles Dare. I don't know. I'm reading my spreadsheet. So if I get it wrong, I just cut corners on my spreadsheet. DVD by um, Clint Eastwood. This DVD was sealed in the package. It was at another local thrift store and their DVDs on this particular day were half off and I bought it for 75 cents and it sold for $7.45 plus $3.95 shipping. So I made a total of $5.27 on this DVD and it sold in less than a month. So this next item here, cast iron, I don't know how to describe this, cast iron um, or bronze, cherub angel trumpet, little knickknack. It had some holes in it, so I think that it's supposed to go on, it's supposed to screw on something. I just didn't know what it was, but three little angels on there. This was part of a lot from an online auction, so I broke it down and averaged I only paid like 64 cents for this item. Sold it for $11 plus $8.85 shipping, and so I made a total of almost $11 on this little item. And it sold pretty quick. I listed it on January 25th and it sold last week. And this next item here was a USMC Desert Marine Corps cap. I spent, um, I can't remember if it was half price. I spent a little bit more money. I think it was $1.91 that I spent on this cap right here. And I sold it. It was free shipping, I think. And I sold it for $17.75, so I made almost $10 off this cap. 
This next item here I bought from a garage sale um, in December, listed it in December, so it took two months to sell. Today's news, um, 1980s style, um, very colorful button down shirt. And I bought it from the estate sale for 50 cents. This was the last day of their estate sale, so everything was half off. Bought it for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. It sold for, set, I took a best offer of this one. I had it listed a little bit higher. And it sold for $17 with free shipping. And I made almost $11 off of this shirt that I bought for 50 cents. And then this last item here was another online auction item from a lot. And it's, um, I bought it in January. I listed it on January 18th. So it took a little bit under a month to sell. Sold pretty quick. So within this group of auction items, I broke it down to about $1.37 for this vase. It's, it's called a Lefton Pedestal. Pedestal? That's such a weird word. Pedestal pitcher. It um, I sold it for fourteen ninety five plus thirteen sixty five shipping. So the customer paid twenty eight sixty for this little pitcher. It may look big on the image, but it was actually about a seven six or seven inch pitcher, and I made. $15.50 off this picture. So that is it. Um, that is what I sold for the week. Um, so I have lows and highs kind of mixed in of items, which I'm okay with that. If I can find some items that are like bread and butter items that will regularly sell, I'll be totally fine with that. Um, but just right now, I'm just trying to figure out I'm just trying to figure out where I fit in, where I fit in with uh, this community. And um, I love watching a lot of you guys on YouTube. Um, I, I'm just trying to figure out how to grow my channel. <laughs> so I am starting all over again and I am beating myself up over it because it's, it's just really hard. I don't know if it's hard to just start a channel all over again. And then I'm just wondering like, should I have changed my name? I don't know. And I mean, ultimately the reason why I haven't changed my name yet is like, I, eventually I have plans to bring in my family into my business and everything. And everybody has such neat names. And, and I'm like, well, I mean, I've always been Steph's Universe. My channel's been Steph's Universe for 11 years. And I mean, I'm okay with changing that. I, I don't mind change, but Ultimately, I am the one starting my own business. I am the boss of the business. So I don't know. In my perspective, like, should I leave at Steph's Universe? Because ultimately, even if I bring other people in, if I bring my family members in, they're all part of my universe, right? I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, I appreciate all of you guys. Um... Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.